ceremony to mark a change in leadership of the Nigeria Police Force. For the newly retired Inspector General of Police, Soroman Larase, the journey has been challenging yet rewarding. Arase mounted the saddle as the 18th Indigenous Police Chief in April 2015. Key among his achievements was his campaign against corruption in the force as well as the establishment of the Complaints Response Unit, a platform for filing complaints against police misconduct. I can proudly note two significant developments. First is that I feel professionally satisfied, that I have enjoyed very high level of diligence, loyalty, sacrifice and professionalism from all cadres of the force. This manifested in the great strides we collectively attained in our common march towards restoring the lost primacy of the Nigerian police and bequeathing a police force of citizens' expectation to Nigerians. Secondly, I am fulfilled that a widely experienced, knowledgeable and passionate officer of the caliber of acting IGP Ibrahim Idris has been appointed by the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Federation, to march the force forward. I am convinced of the capacity of AIG Idris to provide the requisite leadership for the force at this crucial time in the history of not just the Nigerian police force, but of our nation. The ceremonial handover of the service flag to the newly appointed police chief marks the beginning of a new era. Ibrahim Idris assumes office in acting capacity as the 19th Indigenous Inspector General of Police. His appointment is subject to confirmation by the Police Council and the ratification of the National Assembly. The new police chief is aware of the enormity of the task ahead of him and the need to prove his mettle. Posting of pol uh, female police officers in command position in states and nationwide. One of the principles of democratic policy is a police institution that is responsive, representative, and accountable to citizens. Therefore, because of the female population in Nigeria, which accounts for about 50% of the total population of the country, emphasis will be placed on the posting of female police officers in command position. This will put the morale. This will put the morale of police officers among us. The police leadership change will also be marked by retirement of the Deputy Inspectors General who served under Arase as well as other senior officers. Sifon Asien, TVC News, Abuja. And welcome back. I still have Barrister Tunde Kolawole, a legal practitioner, and just joining us is Okechuku Uwaguma as a national coordinator of NOPRIM, and NOPRIM is the network on police reform in Nigeria. Getchuku, I uh, thank you for joining us. You heard that uh, it's a new era yeah. uh, from the old uh, IG uh, to mm -hmm. the new uh, mm -hmm. acting IG. Mm -hmm. What is your own take on the old IG? Because he reeled out diligence, loyalty, sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, let, what, what, what's the pa Do you give him a pass mark? The old one. <coughs> yeah, um, I think we must uh, give credit to Solomon Arase uh, because Arase um, came into office with a clear vision. Mm. Uh, having served under two IGs as principal staff officer, I think he had a clear understanding of the problems within the police mm -hmm. and he came with a clear vision of what the, so the, the solutions would be. And one of the things he did was to uh, set up um, a, a strategy advisory committee composed of people from outside the police. These are professionals from human, human rights you know, groups, you know, uh, from the media, mm -hmm. and from other professionals. The idea was that he needed input. He knew that he needed input you mm -hmm. know, from a cross, a cross section of stakeholders. You know. And of course, uh, his, his appointment was w welcome by civil society, you know, because we have known him as a man who had always emphasized on professionalism, on discipline, and, you know, intelligence-driven policing. And I think he did well, he did his best mm. to um, um, realize his vision. But I think that there are problems within the police that are beyond 
him as an individual. Mm. And unless those the structural, institutional, structural problems, those structural institutional mm. problems, unless they are, they are removed. No, no one person can do magic as, a, as an IG. Okay, still talking about uh, Suleiman Rasi, uh, and quoting addition of the president, uh, the, the spokesman of the president. He said that uh, Arasa was in sacked uh, then because when they came in, people thought, okay, we need to sack Arasa to bring a new uh, mm -hmm. IG to work with the president. Mm -hmm. But the president said the quality sure. of the man's mind, sure. the writings, right. I think the guy is just That's versatile right. he has a writings. Of, you know, Publications, you know, to, to his credit and the and the capacity sure, there. Sure, yeah. and so you, you you must admit also. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, that, that's quite uh... all right. Because I know the new man, Ibrahim uh, Potun mm -hmm. Idris. Mm -hmm. You must have done your research on this man. Well, um, the only thing I know about him are the things I read in the in the papers okay. prior to his appointment. I never knew him. Okay, um, but of course, like, you know, um, I'm not expecting so much. Uh, because, like, like I told you, um, he has read out the same mantra of "I'll yes. do this, I'll do uh -huh. that," you know. But again, you know, um, I think that one important thing that needs to be done is uh, because if you, if you look at the, both the Constitution and the Police Act, you know, give operational control of the police to the president okay. rather than the Inspector General yes. of Police, yes. and unless that's um, the, um, an amendment is made to remove those constitutional hurdles that make it difficult for energy to have operational autonomy and security of tenure. It will be difficult for any particular individual to do more than you know is possible within the the, the 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 limitations. Talking of the constitution, thank God. That's why I have to mm. <laughs> let him stay here, mm. a lawyer. Mm. And uh, mm. because he, he was saying he's not expecting too much, really, from the new uh, uh, AIG because of the autonomy. There's no autonomy. The, the man doesn't have the free will to do his work. Uh, somebody was saying that the president needs to direct the AIG. Uh, okay, the law is even saying, the constitution is saying, you need to direct the AIG sometimes. W how can we, is that is there a lacuna or how can we fix that? Mm. Well, I, I must say that um, in most places, uh, most constitution, whether democracy or not democracy, the police has always been under the executive arm of government. Mm. Uh, and in Nigeria, is not an exception. When you look at the police, it's under the exclusive legislative list. That is to say it is the National Assembly and then the executive uh, that is true. Mm. Uh, and I don't think... Um, uh, that should be a major hindrance in the sense that we have cited this morning the Attorney General of the Federation Minister of Justice also appointed by, yes, the president. by the president. You have also, there are so many other bodies yes. that the president uh, do, do appoint. Uh, to mitigate whatever excesses, whatever um, the, the obstacles might be in terms of the way and manner people do come into the office mm. of the IG or police. Mm. That is why you have the police council and you also have the police yes. affairs commission. Yes. And in the police council, the governors are members and all the other security people are also members. And you also look at the composition of the police affairs commission. Mm. It's also composed of different people from diverse backgrounds uh, all over the world. That is to say that these people, after the appointment of an IG or police, just like after the appointment of the service chiefs mm. in the army and in the navy mm. and all that, there are people in there who have who are members of one committee or council or the other mm. or one commission that who could actually influence or make contributions or may put and uh, make inputs yes. into whatever directions the the, the, the the police IG is likely to take in the discharge of responsibility. Mm. So I wouldn't want us to say because it is a president that is a, a chairman of all these bodies and all that that then the police is in combat. But if they, are, if they have this autonomy, yeah. could it, they, they could have done better. Yeah, it is not impossible that they would uh, do better. But the, 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 the people who are complaining about uh, uh, some of this uh, because of the abuses that we have seen in the past. Mm. I am saying that those abuses are not peculiar uh, to just the president because in the control of the police. All over the state of the federation today, most of the governor, most of the states also have police in one form or the other. Oh, yeah. In Lagos State, you have the LASMA, yes. you have the VIO. Yes. In the northern part of the country, you have the ISBA, mm. who are police who try to enforce the Sharia law mm. in all those places. Mm. And all that. Take the case of uh, Ururu, mm. the lady mm. was abducted and other. Look at the role that the ISBA have uh, played in, mm. in, 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 mm. in frustrating whatever mm. efforts was made to really ensure that uh, that um, 
a young yeah. lady was not abused the way they have been abused and now. So, yeah. and then again, we must not forget yeah. that uh, the country has also provided safeguards for whatever abuse may come from some of these places. Yeah. You have opportunities of uh, taking mandamus proceedings yeah. against certain officers of the state yeah. who do abuse their office. You all refuse to do their office. You can also fight for the enforcement of fundamental rights where the police or any other security agencies do abuse. And thousands of fundamental rights applications are filed in the Nigerian courts, uh, all over the country. Since you that, mentioned fundamental you know, rights. All these things are there to really check whatever excesses and abuses okay. might be coming from the Okay, Chuku, you as an organization, the, yeah. the network on police reform in Nigeria, mm -hmm. what is it that you primarily do? And what is it that you are going to be doing this time around to ensure we have... Uh, what the, the, the Ibrahim Idris has said, okay, he outlines his agenda. Mm -hmm. Police has to be guided by international core values of policing, mm -hmm. integrity, ensure rule of rule mm -hmm. of law in mm -hmm. actions and mm -hmm. activities, mm -hmm. respect diversity, courage, compassion, and professionalism. Mm -hmm. Integrity has been mentioned like twice, accountability. Mm -hmm. How do you <laughs> think you can do uh, that? Yeah, well, before I answer that, let, let me respond a little bit to what uh, Mike said, said yeah. you know, um, because, uh, you know, I, I talked about political control, you mm. know, and uh, he, he thinks that that's not, it's not a major obstacle. Mm. But the point we're making is that um, the police is a professional institution, it's yeah. a security organization, and everywhere in the world, you know, um, operational control, in Nigeria is the only country in the world mm. where operational control is in the hands of the president. Both operational and policy control are centralized in the hands of the president. Okay. The, the, the proper thing elsewhere is that, yes, the politicians can be in charge of policy, policy control, yeah, but operational, it, it doesn't, it's for the professional who is IG. You know, because, um, and, and also t talking about the police council, yeah, it exists in principle. In principle. But the truth is that, does the police council ever sit? Because the, the, the requirement is that the police council will sit and they decide, you know, uh, recommend an IG for, for the president to appoint. Yes. Now, the, the police council never meets. The president unilaterally chooses whoever he, he wants to appoint. And say, say in this same uh, case That also. is what happened in this case. And when that happens, and usually he will go and may, maybe appoint an AIG. And what that means is that all the DIGs, and in this case, we have about, n about nine of them. They're all going to retire. And then about... Ten or more other AIGs will also retire, and these are these are people who are still, you know, active in, 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 in whom the country has invested a lot of mm, resources, mm, training, and all mm, that. Mm. And at the end of the day, you throw them overboard because you, you have the president has to single-handedly and pick somebody and, and, and appoint. And so the point I'm making, therefore, is that unless we reform the appointment procedure to make it transparent and competitive mm -hmm. in such a way that there will be public input into who becomes an IG, because the office of an IG is an important one that yes, should, should be left yes. to politicians. And that is why every now and then politicians use, because the IG can only act at the behest of the president. Mm -hmm. He does not have no, no autonomy, he has no independence. So the and people so, should, have, uh, yeah, part of, should sure, be part of this? Sure. You know, so coming to what we are going what, to, yes. basically what we do is to, um, you know, monitor Nopin, like uh, I had always introduced here, is a network of for, the, for the nine civil society organizations okay. committed to promoting police accountability okay. and respect for, for human, human rights. Human rights. Mm. It was set up in 2000 to provide a, a platform for civil society to make impute to police reform processes in Nigeria. You know. And so what we do is to monitor and document human rights abuses, you know, contribute ideas to how to transform law enforcement practices and policies in Nigeria, you know, so that we have, you know, um, a, 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 a police service that is both accountable and, uh, you know, service oriented that, that will serve the interests of the people. So what we do normally is to monitor and make, you know, um, you know, uh, in, in, in intervene in, 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 in situations where we see that something is going wrong. Mm -hmm. you know. mm. We also help to assist v victims of abuse to get access to justice. Okay, so people could reach you. If, 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 do you think the, like the, the last uh, AIG, I mean the last IG uh, uh, had a, a platform for people, the complaints, uh, yeah. the platform. Yeah. Do you think that worked or do you think we can do better? That is one of the good things that I said, it, you know, setting up that complaints response unit. Mm -hmm. But I had, I had been on this studio once to, to talk about that, you know, yes. uh, that, that platform. Yeah, you know, um, in the past, we have had similar platforms. Like we, we used to have the, in the office of the PRO, you know, 
public complaints, you know, bureau and all that, you know, where people can make complaints. But what uh, what obtained them was that people may make complaints and don't, they don't get have to ever know about how mm. you know, the matter is resolved. Mm. You know. But in this but case, do you have do, do you have access to these complaints? Just you as an organization or a group of organizations, do you have access? No, the police seeing uh, their own uh, complaints and doing nothing. That's the, that's the problem, uh, and, and that was where I was, I was coming to, you know, because tra transparency, policing has to be a transparent thing. Mm -hmm. you, know? you don't just tell us that you have dismissed 20 police officers yes. and we don't know who they are. Yes. And you say for security purposes, you won't tell us. How do we believe you? Because the truth is that we, de de we deliberately tested the the, compl the complaints, you know, response units mm. by sending complaints on behalf of. Okay, uh, 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 but do you uh, get a good response? We get a resp automatic response acknowledging the, in, the the complaint, but are the complaints fixed? Nothing, uh, nothing, no, nothing ever gets to. Example, how do you how do you empower such? Uh, because it's good for the police to know there's somebody watching them, so they'll be, they'll, they'll serve as check and balance mm. uh, to like Lagos, for example. It's looking like a le like the police Lagos is having like the police people will be dreaming of now because a little a little is changing mm. or thereabouts. So we we get there soon. But what do you think? How do we strengthen people like Noprem or organizations like Noprem? Yeah, uh, there is no doubt about it that the work of the police today is not uh, perfect, uh, and that a lot uh, still has to be done, and that there are abuses uh, here and there that we as a nation can uh, can do without. But I think most of the abuses that we have found with the police are in the areas of uh, uh, executive, so to say, lawlessness sometimes. And then police also taking laws into their hands. Their hands. And that's why you find that most times, uh, not too long ago, the IG of police was complaining about the number of cases they have lost in court mm. and the quantum of money that they have had to pay to Nigerians who have won uh, fundamental right cases uh, against the Nigerian police. They don't even Such pay. That <laughs> they don't even that, pay. Uh, they don't pay. No, they now use... Uh, he was complaining yeah. about Ghanishi proceedings against yeah, sure. the police in which mm. the police have been compared to paying certain money. So all this tells you that this uh, is a lot of problems. But I don't think... Um, um, the police in itself is conscious that a lot has to be done. And that is why I think they have the police uh, public relations committee mm. in almost all the different police stations all over the country. I think a lot has, has to do with the initiative that the people in the M of Affairs of the police also bring to. Look at the man in Lagos. He's been a very proactive person. Mm. If ordinary road accidents, sometimes you will find them uh, yes. Uh, yes. going to such a, mm. a size and trying to take control before the situation really degenerates. Um, um, to a level. And the Nama Arasi also made one significant uh, uh, contribution mm. or a um, well public well, remark well. Mm. that uh, we should not uh, lose sight of. He said, anytime you find that the police are mounting illegal low blocks in any state yes. or that they are collecting money, yes. it is the commission of police in those states that, should that we should be asking questions. That is to say, if the police commissioner in the state is corrupt, the possibility that rank and file mm. in all those places are going to be corrupt are there. And if they are not corrupt, you find out that the Meran Kampai will also behave themselves. Yes, so the onus is on us to be vigilant. To be vigilant it is not it. about uh, who gets appointed to. Look at South Africa. Jacob Zuma went and brought a civilian, a woman for that matter, mm -hmm. and made the woman the mm -hmm. idea of police. Yes, yeah, like, we we yeah. need to go. Uh, as a, your, your last take, we so, need to go. Because yeah. no, you mentioned that roadblock mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Or what's your own last take, mm -hmm. General? No, I, I think that what mm -hmm. I expect the new IG to focus on is to ha improve on the welfare and working conditions of police officers. Mm -hmm. Because that will help to redu reduce uh, the uh, resource. You mentioned they said cheap, mm -hmm. affordable housing for rank and file, mm -hmm. availability of police uniforms. And uh, yeah, everything. because the reason the reason police officers and of one of the reasons they give for engaging in, in, in corrupt practices is poor pay, and I think that, you know so there is, there is there is a need to address radically improve the welfare conditions so that it will reduce. You know, the ten, the, you know, it, it will reduce the and tendency for police officers to, you know, engage what in... What about the checkpoints? Do you think that, uh, do, what do you advise? Should they keep uh, uh, no checkpoints or should there be checkpoints? The, the practice elsewhere is, pa is pa patrol. 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 Checkpoints are actually avenues for extortion and extradition. Is Lagos, so Lagos, is Lagos living, that, is living up to that expectation? Quickly, I think there are cars everywhere now. Let me quickly, Lagos, yes, yeah, yeah, let me quickly uh, chip uh, something. As we go. Mm. Mm. The, the, the chipping is that when you look at the police barrack today, there is no way you could have police leaving those places that's and not be angry police. That's mm. correct. There is no way they can also bring up their children in that yeah, environment yeah, and have decent children. Yeah, More correct. importantly, to the environment, not just at home, the office, you go to any police station, you can't sit on their desk. If you, by the time you sit there for one hour, I mean, 
money for even 10 minutes, oh, no. bed bugs would have invaded your clothing exactly. machine. That's, 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 that's why you see the police. They are also know equipment. We could impose, we could impose. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. So we now. need to really engage them. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, uh, Barista Tunde Kola, a legal practitioner, yeah. and also a K. Chuku uh, Uwaguma, a national coordinator, network of police reform in Nigeria, NOPRIM. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Pleasure. Pleasure. Hope to have you Thank around. Thank you for again. having us. And that's our package for today. Thank you all for being part of the program. And for the pe for people that have been trying to reach us, we're sorry about that. We had complaints that the calls were not coming in. Hopefully, next week, uh, we will we, 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 we have the time for that. Uh, we appreciate you all. And the repeat is tomorrow, son, Sunday, uh, 3 p.m. And uh, let's do it again next week. Until then, God bless Nigeria. I am Dakbo. Arua